Do you save your money in the bank? Are you using a check-in, savings? Or maybe you think you're buying CDs. How about a money market account? Do you put your money inside of some form of investment portfolio like an IRA? Where are you saving your money when you're using the bank? Now, when you save your money in the bank, have you ever heard of a high yield savings account? Did anybody ever tell you that you could put your money in the bank and still get over 4%? Well, shh, you're not supposed to know that. But here's the thing. If you're going to save your money in the bank and have access to money and have it be liquidated, you want to make sure that it's also growing at the same time. Why would you put your money in the bank and know that's going to be a fraction of reserve banking when you save your money in the bank? Now, I know what most of you are thinking right now. What is fractional reserve banking, Keon? Well, fractional reserve banking is something simple that you need to know. Let me just break it down and get straight to the point. So fractional reserve banking is a contract that you sign with a bank where the bank is allowed to take your money and actually invest it and save it. They're only allowed to save around 10% in the bank and then take the other 90% and loan it out or either invest it as they like. All right, I know what you're thinking. That was a lot of information really quick. But it gets even better, which means that they use something called BOLI, where they put the money in a bank-owned life insurance, where they do a contract with the insurance companies, and they call that infinite banking. So if you're ever thinking and wonder, what does that mean? Infinite banking is where the bank take our money, put it inside of their life insurance products, and then they're able to get the growth, the safety, the protection, the tax advantages that they need from their money. So this is where they learn how to get compounding interest versus where they give us simple interest for in our savings, checking our, and, and all these different accounts. But bare minimum, you should have at least learned about a high yield savings account. But if you like to learn how to get better interest than the banks, and a little sidebar, if you want to learn how to be your own bank, there's a good book that's called Saving Your Future. There's one also called Conquer Your Future. And there's another one called, yes, Infinite Banking by Robert Nash. If you'd like to get access to all this information and definitely put yourself in a winning position, I'm here to help you. All you have to comment below is, I am ready, or type the word bank.